Okay, here we go. Want some stories? Which ones? Clean ones first? It was 1993 and we had a split round in the middle of the competition. I just started playing first grade and uh, I had a friend who was playing for the Melbourne University Rugby League side. Now this side, since the 1930s forward, had never won a single game. Not one moment of glory. So the mate rings me and says, listen, you got split round. Why don't you come down to Melbourne, lend a bit of support, you know, cheer us on, try to inspire the boys. Sounds great. Went down there, we had a big night out, festivities, good food. Get up the next day, it's game day against Coburg. Big game. Me and my mate, we're driving toward Coburg, call through McDonald's, have a couple of cheeseburgers, a bit of fuel in the tank. As I'm onto the second cheeseburger, my mate says to me, you know, I've got a spare pair of boots. I said, no, 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 I can't play. I mean, if the Knights find out that I've come down here in a game on the sly, they'll tear my contract up. Anyway, he's a pretty persuasive kind of guy. So by the time we get to Coburg, I'm playing. So we give myself an alias. So I'm Rick Dawson from Tasmania. The captain coach was a bloke called Chook. Four foot one, pretty good indication why they hadn't won a game since the 1930s. And he said, uh, you're from Tasmania, are you? I said, yep. You ever played rugby league? I said, no, I haven't, Chook. You ever seen rugby league? I said, mate, saw it once on TV. It was pretty violent. He said, yeah, mate, good, tough play rugby league. Game kicks off. Rick Dawson's on the bench, doesn't get a start. Half time, we're getting beat 32 0. Things aren't looking good. Even worse after Chook's half time speech, which was a disgrace. Ten minutes into the second half, Coburg score again. And Chook decides what the hell. Let's take a chance, let's throw the weight from Tasmania on. I'm trying to be modest here, but I would describe my performance as one of the greatest of my career. And we score on the bell to win 38 points to 36. And Coburg Oval was going off. The Melbourne supporters had their first taste of victory and they liked it. I was being put on shoulders. They took me after to the pub, shouting me drinks. And I was sitting there and I thought to myself, well, I tell them the truth. And I thought, nah, let the legend grow. 18 months later, my mate's walking across the Melbourne University yard and he hears this excited scream, hey, hey. And it's the captain coach, Chook, the Chookster. All four foot one of him. And he runs up, he's got the Australian newspaper in his hands. He says, hey, look at this. It's your mate, the Tasmanian. He's just been picked in the Australian side. And that's the tale of Rick Dawson, the legend that never was. <laughs>